Okay, so this is going to be my beauty favorites for March 2014, and this has been a really crazy busy month, so I don't have a whole lot here. I do have some new favorites, so I wanted to film a video to share with you guys. I hope the lighting is not too dark, but as you can see, I've switched rooms um, that I have my vanity in. I'm not sure if it's going to stay here or not, but this is where it is for now. Kayla has taken over the room that I was previously in because her and Riley were sharing a room for a while, and now they want separate rooms long story. Anyway, so they have their own room now, so this is where I am, so yeah, hopefully the lighting is okay, I'm not too sure, but I'm just going to jump in and get started with some things that are my favorite this month. I think I'll start with nail polish because I've been neglecting nail polish for several months now. Every time I film my video, I'm like, oh my goodness, I totally forgot nail polish, and I have some really nice favorites. And of course, I don't have nail polish on my fingers right now, which is always the case, but... Anyways, this one is um, Nicole by OPI, but it's the Carrie Underwood collection, and I saw this in Shoppers Drug Mart. I literally double-taked, and this never happens to me with nail polish. I picked it up, looked at it, put it down, walked away, came back, picked it up, looked at it, put it down. I did this several times, and finally I just threw it in my cart. Um, I couldn't walk away without it. It's called the Lips Are Dripping Honey, and it's a glitter, and it's got a whole bunch of different colors in it. It's like purpley, greeny, silver for sure, chunkier glitter. It's just stunning though. Absolutely beautiful. I've worn this on its own. I've worn it over top of nail polishes. I love it. Um, I'm really happy I grabbed it. Another one I've been wearing a lot this month in particular is from Zoya. This is the color Odette and I got this in an Ipsy bag. Um, and it's just a pastel kind of lilac purple color, but it's very muted and from afar it looks quite neutral and then up close it's definitely a purple, but I feel like it goes with anything. Even though it's purple, it still goes with anything, so I've been reaching for this a lot, wearing it a lot. I've had a lot of compliments on it too. A third favorite is from Sally, Hans Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. I really like this formula because of the brush, um, but the color is Debutint. Debutint, yes. And it's just kind of a, it's a sparkly one, but very, very fine sparkle. Sorry, my memory card was full. But yeah, it's just like an opalescent gold, yellowy toned, um, yeah, glittery nail polish. I really like it. It's very neutral. It goes on quite opaque, which I like, which is great for more of a shimmery one. Usually they're kind of sheer. This one's not. So yeah, that has been a favorite. All right, so what should I do next? This lip gloss, I have fallen in love with this lip gloss. It's from Maybelline, it's the new, I think these are called Color Elixirs. Yeah, the Elixir, and the color I got is Nude Illusion. I heard a lot of people talk about it, I've seen a lot of videos on it, and I wanted to try it out for myself. It's really cute, it looks like a lipstick in there, but it's a gloss. Um, the doe foot applicator is awesome. I mean, it looks funny, mine's really bent, it came that way, I'm not too sure why. But it is the softest, most plushest, perfect doe foot applicator. It just feels like like heaven on your lips when you, when you put it on. It has the perfect amount of product on it. And this color is the perfect nude color. It's not, it doesn't look like concealer nude. And it's not too dark at the same time. I have it on my lips right now. And it's quite opaque for a gloss, especially a nude gloss. Usually they're quite sheer, but... I'll come on close so you can see it. I do have a pink um, lip liner on underneath. This is the Urban Decay Native underneath, but this lip gloss will show up fine just on its own. So I've been using this a lot on its own and over top of lipsticks, over top of uh, lip liners. It's a favorite. I want to pick up more colors. I really like the formula. Not sticky, super smooth. Yeah, can't say enough about that. Two blushes I've been reaching for a lot this month. First one is L'Oreal True Match. The color is C12 Baby Blossom is what it looks like. Just a baby pink color, a little bit of satin finish on it. Um, definitely a light color if you have a darker, I'll show you it on my finger there, a darker skin tone. I'm not sure that it would show up on you because I do need to use quite a bit to, to get it to show up on me. I have it on today, but I've just been liking the really soft baby pink cheek. I think it's been a favorite in the past. I've been using it a lot, a lot this month. And then another one in case I was wanting a peach color. This is from Avon. I've had it for a long time. The color is Coral Radiance. That's what that looks like. Again, um, not a color that would show up well on darker skin tones, but really pretty on fair skin tones. There it is right there. Just a pretty, like, corally, uh, 
orangey color not really any sparkle in it just really really pretty so I've been loving that a foundation I've been testing out this month is new from Rimmel it's the stay matte liquid mousse foundation I really love the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, so I definitely want to try this out. This was really inexpensive, like $5.99, I think. The color I am is 103 True Ivory. I wasn't actually sure if I would like the foundation because my skin has been changing. It's not so oily anymore, but I wanted to give it a go, and I do like it. I like it for a bunch of reasons. It's definitely a full coverage foundation, so if you're looking for full coverage, this gets the job done. You barely need any product. Like, I would use probably... I mean, this is what the tube looks like, a little pea-sized amount. It's very, very thick. I'll try and squeeze, see, there it is there. It's very thick. Um, a little tiny bit goes a long way. I use it with a beauty blender. I love it because it has amazing staying power. So the staying power, the um, coverage is great. The fact that you barely need any um, have totally won me over on this. I do need to use it with my dewy finish dewy finish setting spray because it is quite matte but if you're oily I really think you'll like this and it's a good color match for me too that's what I'm wearing right now so that has been a favorite and then for eyeshadows I have a couple of them the one I'm wearing right now well it's more of a cream eyeshadow it's called icy mint it's a Maybelline color tattoo I'll show you it's number 30 icy mint so it looks like there uh, as spring is approaching I'm getting more into like turquoisey um, kind of poolish colors. I really love spring colors. So I just have that as an eyeliner on top of my um, black eyeliner right now, um, but I've done it on the lower lash line too, and I think it's really pretty. I've done it as a base. Um, just very universal, really like it. Another um, eyeshadow I've been using a lot is from the Infallible line from L'Oreal, and the color is Sahara, Tre Sahara Treasure 021. Very universal color, really, really pretty. It's like a bronzy taupe type color. Um, super pigmented and glittery. That's what it looks like there. And I love to wear this all over the lid. There's the color there. Very, very pretty. Love that color. And then the last thing I'm reaching for a lot this month is just my Stila in the Light palette, which I've mentioned before. I use this all the time. The particular, this is what it looks like. The particular colors that I use a lot are this one right here, which is bare, and then this one right here which is bliss and those two together I just put that in my crease and that everywhere else looks really really pretty I'll use this darker matte brown if I want to deepen the crease but I've just been going for really neutral eyes most days um, just matte barely any color in the crease just super single simple and a wing eyeliner so yeah and nude lips and baby pink cheeks it's kind of what I've been wearing all month so not a whole lot new I think that's about it um if you have any questions let me know thank you so much for watching um leave any comments in the description down below and like this video I think that's it thanks so much for watching bye